Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for social media posts. This could be Facebook, this could be Twitter, it could be like an Instagram caption, whatever it's going to be in case you need help, here's how we do it. So let's move to the bottom section right here and let's say we're going to be utilizing Facebook. So let me type in, okay, write a Facebook post about, this is where you can get creative, obviously whatever you feel like writing a post about. My channel is obviously about marketing, so I like doing stuff that's kind of marketing related. Give me a second and I'll come back with an example for you. All right, so write a Facebook post about why TikTok is better than Facebook for marketing. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's click on this little arrow button. All right, so I had an error when creating it. Uh, as expected, it says they're experiencing high demand, which has been going on for a while like that. But anyway, let's try it again. All right, this looks more or reads more like a testimonial, but hey, we're still getting content, right? Just tried out marketing on TikTok and I have to say I'm impressed. The engagement and reach on my content is through the roof compared to Facebook. Plus the algorithm favors fresh and creative content, making it a great platform for small businesses and creators to get their products or services out there. If you haven't already, give TikTok a try for your marketing efforts, you won't be disappointed. So here's something else you can do about this. Say, write more or like continue writing more. Okay, keep in mind that you can always write more or just get additional information. So let's do that. Maybe you want to write a little bit longer Facebook post. Okay, I'm going to start kind of reading as it's going through. So it talks about is the younger demographic with over 60% of users under the age of 30. TikTok is a great way to reach the Gen Z and millennial audience. I don't know if that's true. So keep in mind, you are going to have to do some research, fact check things. Uh, it offers a wide range of features uh, from the use of hashtags and challenges to the ability to create shoppable videos. It's also more relaxed and casual platform compared to Facebook. That's obviously opinionated, right? Which can make it easier for business to connect with their audience and build a loyal following. Then, of course, it kind of wraps it up. So just like that, we have a nice little Facebook post. Let's go back to new chat. OK, so write a Twitter post looking for opinions about using AI for marketing. Kind of kept it pretty broad there. Let's click on this button here. All right, cool. And it kept it short enough for Twitter. I don't know what the exact character count is. They might have increased it. I don't really use Twitter, but uh, this looks definitely short enough for a Twitter post. What are your thoughts on it? So what we can do is say, like, write five more tweets. So write five more tweets about this. All right, it looks like it's done here. So I just did five more. And as you can see, I'm going to keep it right here. You can always pause the video and read these yourself, but they're obviously related to what we talked about. And last one, I'm going to do an Instagram caption. Give me one sec. All right, so write an Instagram caption about visiting Queenstown, New Zealand and how beautiful it was. First thing that came to mind, I did go there. It was beautiful. Let's see what they had to say. Fell in love with the breathtaking beauty of Queenstown, New Zealand. So let's do... Right, five more captions. Oh, here we go again. So like I said, this happens a lot. I'm going to go to new chat. Just wanted to remind you in case you are having uh, experiencing difficulties like that. It's just because there's so much traffic on this right now. I'm going to see uh, right five Instagram captions about the same thing. Let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, I need to reload the page. That should help. Let's see. All right, there we are. So if you ever having trouble with chat GPT, just try like reloading the page and then going from there. I will keep these up. I'm not going to read them, but these are some examples about how you can use chat GPT for social media posts. Specifically, you can do it for Facebook. You can do it for Twitter. You can do it for uh, Instagram captions. Heck, you can do it for like LinkedIn or whatever social media platform you want to utilize. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you have any requests for what you want me to do video wise for chat GPT, let me know as well. I'm going to be doing plenty more videos, but it's always cool to get some requests, get some new ideas. Ideas. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.